Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Gyani Kodai and in this series of videos, I am solving hacker and python challenges. So, our today's challenge is alphabet angoli. Here, we will be given an integer n and our task is to print an alphabet angoli of size n. Okay, for example, if our size is 3 n, then we have to print an angoli like this. And if size 5, then this. And if size is 10, then this. Okay, so now let's code for that here we have want an character string for all characters from a to z okay write the string like this also at a b c but we have an python inbuilt modules that will help us to do that in string module string dot ascii underscore lower case it will return us string from a to z okay well now we are taking an empty list and the width is going to be 4 into size minus 3 okay so our width is going to be 4 into size minus 3 now we are going to iterate in a for loop for i in range size so our string is going to be character from i to size okay but i want to join all the characters using an hyphen so i will use dot join method and pass it in here okay and I want hyphen between them so hyphen now I, I just want to append our list with this means s of I want to reverse my string so s of minus 1 plus s of after 1 so what I am doing here sorry I just do curly braces instead of regular ones ok here what I am doing see if our sample input is 5 then our string is going to be ed and in the our string is going to be de so I am reversing that string ed and i want to grab a single element after the first so it will only e so doing that here now i want to center it using dot center method and our passing width and a hyphen here okay so at last we will go going to join our list using dot join method so printing it i am passing backslash n here because i want the every element of the list on a new line so i am passing backslash n here dot join list of Why I written this here because for example if my string is from 0 to 9 so it will return from 9 to 1 not including 0 okay so n plus list to complete our whole angoli okay so let's run our code and see what we get Okay, string is not defined here. Okay, I forgot to import the string module. Okay, so let's again and see what we get. Our sample test is here is successfully, and so let's submit our code.
our all eight cases is successfully run. If you like this video, then don't forget to click like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive our latest video updates. And if you want to see my source code, the link is in the description box below. Thank you.